So I'm on my way to the grocery store and I'm going to stop in this store. It's called Hokey G's. This building used to be a Murphy's Mart and then it turned into an Ames. And now it's Hokey G's. It's just a variety store. There's a section of tools. You can actually buy like rugs and appliances and furniture. And then there's uh, vintage and collectibles and like primitive decor. So let's go check it out because this car is hot. Hopefully you can hear me over the fans and the music and the people talking next to me. So I'm just checking out the wares, see what they have. Six dollars, that shoe planter. I see a lot of 20th, 5th anniversary items and I've always found them not to be very popular in the resale world. I'm sure there's some items. It's only a dollar. Looks like he lost some of his coloring. There's a ball behind him. Check out the, uh, the ephemera here. say this a lot of the stuff I see here I've seen it at an auction I've been to but you know it's kind of just fun to go check it out and there's yellow Pyrex fish dish for I want to say ten dollars looks like it needs a little bit of cleaning up These are in really good shape. They are chalkware, 2968-2963. I'm gonna look that up real quick. So I couldn't find an exact match, but I found one close. It was the best offer accepted. But again, these are only $4 a piece. They're in excellent shape. I wish I would've bought my bifocals with me. They're very pretty. So I'm gonna take a chance and get them. I saw this underneath the one. Old bowl. See so if there's anything else here. A bunch of bottles. I don't collect bottles and I have a couple. So I'll just move away from them. I think I looked at his booth pretty good. Hopefully I'm going to find some Halloween today. So let's keep searching. Insulators. I have one of them too. It's amazing what you get at the auction. So let's go. I guess we can snake in this way. Let's see what they have. a game. I was going to say, there's stuff in there for four fifty. That would be a great, I don't know if it's like trivia. The 
women's game. Not for women only, though. It's trivia. I have some of these dishes. Majestic wear. The bowls. The plates and the solid plates. tools, toilets, sinks, rugs. Just uh, if, if you're missing on a yard sale, you just come here. It's like yard sale and hardware. All under one roof. I spy this little bunny planter. He is 20, oh, 20 dollars. Vintage wear fine, 15, but then you flip it over and it says 60 to 80 online. Okay. This person has the stuffies for sure. Curious George, Bob the Builder, Care Bear. I just don't know enough about stuffed animals to say get them or not. That's probably a no if I'm thinking about it. $4.99. Salt and pepper shakers. Seven dollars for the puppy dogs. person likes to put what they're worth on mine. Ten dollars. More fallen Halloween over here. You see anything here that you would buy? I'd love to know. DVD sell. Starting at a dollar each. So Bedford has a festival in October called the Fall Foliage Festival. And if you ever come down here during Fall Foliage, they're very busy. And this booth seems to be a very popular one during that time. I don't know if it's because it's like grouped by items or because it's an L shape. Jewels real quick. Just get an idea on some of the pricing because I have many similar brooches. Six fifty for the big point set to pin. Crystal pets. I remember those. different looking. So no price tag on the inside and no oh there it is fourteen fifty deco base. Ooh, 
Ooh, I like the little pixie planter, 1650. Ouch. He is cute though. Marked in Japan. 1650. I don't see a sell happening in this booth. He's a cutie though. 1250 for that. Quite a bit of Pyrex and is this Fiesta? It says Fiesta, but I don't see the marking. Could be the newer. I'm not very schooled in Fiesta either, so there's that. But I like how they're grouped together with the each other and the colors. Silk 950 little jewelry box. How much is that? 1250 some pottery back there. Red wing, 1650. There's that piece and that one back there. This is Colonial China for 950. And then over here, I like the little snowman. He's 1250. Yeah, I'll show you real quick. Here's a newer uh, primitive decor, home decor, farmhouse decor. You have some of the locked cases. I usually don't um, shop out of these often. You know, I look at them as I pass by, but I like to put my fingers on things and don't want to have to get a cashier and all that. Piano babies. This guy down here, or gal. Has the unlock case and 50% off. Sometimes it's 70, but normally it's 50%. It's just a mixture of odd things. Sometimes. I'll try to block the fan it's right behind me. Person's having 20% off everything. Look at that sparkly Christmas tree. Little shoes. Crip shoes. I don't know about you, but I didn't put shoes on my kid until they were getting ready to walk. So 
see a little angel underneath there. Christmas planter for $9.79. I don't know if the person who owns this booth owns the one that had some of that Halloween stuff. Because their stuff's all marked down too. That's a different looking piece. $9.99. Christ and Company Prince Figurine. Great in my new room I just painted. Hugging salt shakers, $14.99. Again, I think this is locked. Alright, check out the atomic salt and pepper shakers. They're probably in that same range, 14 to 20. Now oh, I see a little kitty cat in there. $34.99. So it's vintage uh, Norcrest. We have made it to my most favorite booth in this store. And her prices are decent. Um, sometimes a little higher than what I'd like to pay. But she usually keeps up and changes it out often. And she just has some really cool stuff. I think this is an assemblage piece, Halloween, candelier, $15, popcorn pumpkin is $15, and see that's pretty much retail right there. Now this one has a pumpkin plastic popcorn vintage cardstock, 8 pieces for $20, but it makes me wonder if the... Jack o lantern is missing something. So the popcorn plastic pumpkin, and then you get some paper die cuts with it. And a mask. For 20. Now I've never seen her have a sale. that little critter too. Nine dollars. Yeah, part of a salt and pepper shaker set. And I have the other one. So that's encouraging to see that I picked up a Goodwill and it's been sitting in a box. Pink Poodle with spaghetti trim. Nine dollars. Some blue molds. Ninety bucks. Chip and dip dish 18. See, I just really like this this booth. Five dollars. These look like merry mushroom tops. The rest is missing. I might have to make my thumbnail in here. Junk drawer, 15. Do you remember seeing these on campers and trailers? Patio lights, $50 firm for the owls. And then the back ones are 25. 
So looking at those owl lights, they were $50 firm. It prompted me to kind of go on eBay and look at the solds. Now those are the pastel colored, uh, seven string there, $74.99. Um, let's see what else. See that one got a bid of $165, well okay, $115. And that one got 50, so I was almost tempted to go back and get them, but kind of as I've been researching, it just not worth the eBay fees and the, you know all that that goes into it. So I think I'll just leave them there. But that's a good price, and that $50 is a good price to get some RV lights, and then the uh, UFO looking ones they don't sell as much as the owls. Look at that long clock. The key cats on it. Little more pumpkin for 40. Here is three piece scarecrow plastic canvas for, I think that's 16. Look at this <laughs> the spoon and fork set. Oh my goodness. 20. You can put a candle in it. And then the grapes, 23. Thought that was treasure craft. For 12. That is 10. There's another one of those candeliers. Uh, 25. TV lamp for 20. So now I'm off to the grocery store. That's where I'm at now. And all I got was this wall pack. So $8 and something with tax. And now I gotta go find something to eat and get cat food. So. That's it for now. I might stop a good on my way back home, but my goodness, it's only 85 degrees outside. You'd think it's 120. My back of my neck is sweating. So the air's on low, just for a second. All right, take it easy, guys.